Hey everyone, people are asking us all the time what's going to be going on in 2022 in Palm Coast. Now, we're going to talk about uh, a lot of different things, but we're going to talk about the growth here, the schools, what's happening with the, the housing market, and we're going to do all of that up next, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Bill Bishop with the Living in Palm Coast channel and I'm a realtor here in Palm Coast and uh, we're getting calls from people all the time about uh, what it's like and th them wanting to know what it's like to live he here and work here, play here and that's what this channel is all about. So we're going to try to give you information uh, on this channel about what it's like to move to Palm Coast, Florida. And we're going we're gonna to talk about a few things today, and it's all about what's happening in Palm Coast in 2022. Now, uh, the good news is, is that uh, Palm Coast is growing. It's a, 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 in the, the statistics on what's happening in Palm Coast with as far as growth is that uh, we're a town of about 100,000 people and we're getting about 2 to 3% growth every year. And that's been kind of happening in the last five years or so. So what that basically means is about two or 3,000 people a year are uh, moving here to Palm Coast. Now, I'm going to back up a little bit and I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of uh, where where we're at in 2004, 5, and 6, and I'm going to cover this pretty quickly, but 2004, 5, and 6, Flagler County was considered one of the fastest growing counties in the country. And at that point, uh, when we were uh, really growing here, uh, they uh, had probably uh, 80 builders. Uh, th then and uh, then when the housing market took a took a turn in 2007, 8, and 9, uh, we went down to about 13 builders. Now today we're at about uh, 45 builders or so and uh, that is still probably not enough to take care of all the people that are uh, wanting to move here and build a home here in Palm Coast. Now I'm going to talk about uh, first uh, the demographics which I covered a little bit there but also uh, what's happening, uh, for example, in our schools. Our schools are, uh, are, have been in, uh, in session basically uh, throughout even last year. Uh, if, uh, you know, the whole mass thing is important to you, uh, I think mat, I know that masks are optional here at both high schools and the grade schools and middle schools. So um, we haven't, uh, you know, we haven't had any uh, notices. I haven't heard anything from the high schools like they had to shut down or anything. So they've really done a really good job of uh, keeping this whole uh, coronavirus thing uh, really working well as far as the high school. So they're in full full session. I think everything's going really well. And also for those people and those families moving from outside of Florida and coming here and maybe moving their family here to Palm Coast, you know, the uh, Kansas High School and the Flagler High School are both excellent. The Flagler County School System is considered one of the better school systems in Florida. And um, I can have, I'll have links to all of the school system information in the description box. So you can check those out as well. But I kind of want to be real honest with people be today because and every day. <laughs> I don't want to be dishonest about anything I'm telling you about Palm Coast. So what um, what I'm running into, what people are running into, is that we have a, a big influx of people that want to come here and move to Palm Coast. Now, there's basically three options people have when, uh, when moving here. Uh, you know, you can either come and move into an existing uh, home and uh, I did a recent search just this morning, and I did uh, a search from properties that are 
between 250,000 and then going to 500,000. So that's kind of a sweet spot in the market. Most people are kind of in that range. Uh, you really can't get anything much of anything for less than $250,000 here anyway. So I made that kind of my, my, my bottom and then I went up to about 500,000, which is uh, kind of in that, again, in that sweet spot. And what I found was there was maybe 200 homes. Uh, you know, I've been going out showing clients a lot of uh, homes uh, and the existing homes. And to be honest, um, you know, out of those, um, say, let's just say 200 homes in that range that are currently active on the market, you know, I can honestly say that maybe 80% of them are uh, what I would consider move-in ready. Now, what you would consider move-in ready or what anybody else would consider move-in ready um, may be different. Now, the, uh, for example, I was showing some people homes and their, their idea of move-in ready that everything is, it's basically kind of a brand new, uh, newly uh, designed home, maybe designed within the last 10 years. So something that has a newer kitchen, uh, newer flooring, things like that. And, and a lot of the homes, again, that were designed back in the 90s, and this goes for everywhere in Florida, to be honest, um, the homes that were designed back in the 90s are a little bit different than the ones that you're, you're seeing today, which have more of an open floor plan. And um, so people looking for that type of situation are basically looking at uh, new construction or possibly, and new construction kind of comes in, in two different forms. Um, when you move to Florida, when you move to Palm Coast, this is kind of typical wherever you go. So new construction comes in, in two forms, and one is you can go to a, a planned PUD, planned urban development, like a, pl a planned development that, um, that has say two, three, 400, and sometimes even more homes, than that and they're all built typically by one or two maybe three builders and you can go in and we have those around the Palm Coast area the Flagler County area and um, they are uh, and they are something where it's kind of a turnkey type of situation you know basically you give them your money and then once the you know the home is built then they turn it over to you uh, a lot of times you'll go through their lenders uh, but you're picking a lot, you're using their builder, so on and so forth. Um, because of the demand, again, and is that uh, these homes are, you, you can, a lot of them are, uh, for one of the developments I, I showed the other day, and the, it's gonna be a, you're on a two year waiting list to get your home. So you sign the contract, you get everything set, and uh, you're gonna get your home in two years. And that's, there's a lot of reasons for that. Obviously, everybody knows that, um, you know, things are, the supply side is low, so they're waiting on things. So those are pushing our construction schedules back, as well as just strictly demand. You know, there are a lot of people wanting the new homes and the new developments. So that's one way. So you've got number one, one way is to buy existing. Number two is to buy in these planned developments. And it's kind of hassle free. You know, a lot of times we'll introduce, we'll take you in, we'll um, have you meet with the, the sales center staff and, and have them, uh, you know, then we'll go through the whole process. The third option, and this is the option that I did when I moved uh, here to Palm Coast about three years ago, was I bought a lot and uh, I built a house. And I had a plan of my own that I wanted to do. Uh, but if you don't have a plan, there are builders here uh, that, uh, that deal in all kinds of price points. So you have builders that deal, that have this, the lower budget homes. Uh, you have the mid-range homes again that are uh, a little bit more expensive a little bit higher finishes and then you've got the higher all custom homes so again there's 44 builders here in palm coast so how do you choose from you know one of the frustrations i had when i when i was i bought a lot and i was um, waiting to um you know figure out i was trying to figure out who i wanted to use to build my house 
and I lucked out. I had uh, my realtor that I was using because I hadn't been, I, uh, I was in Minnesota at the time. Uh, my realtor that I was using down here recommended that I go to this particular builder and it worked out really well. And I got that, I got a beautiful house and I was really happy with the process. And I've done that two times, once with my home and then also with my, my, um, with my, my parents' home. So those were the first two homes. And I went through the whole process, you know, the whole permitting process and then, you know, doing, doing everything. And that's a little bit more hands-on. So, and that again is going to be, uh, you know, an 18 month to two year process. So it just depends on kind of what uh, you want. Uh, um, you know, like I said before, that the number of homes here are, we've got about 200 in active listings as far as in that range. And we had, um, but the number of lots is like t three times or twice as many as le at least of available lots. So, and you know, you can get a lot, I'm gonna just say on average, and there's a kind of a, in the city of Palm Coast, in the in the sections that we have, um, you can pick up a lot for around that sixty thousand dollar range. And I'm gonna say range because it just depends on where you are. But on average, I would say if I were to do an average, it would be uh, most of these lots are around sixty thousand. And then you come in, and then you gotta select a builder, and that's uh, where we can help. We can help point you to the builder that's going to has the best reputation for one because um you know we work with these guys we've seen the people that do the work we talk with our customers we talk with other uh, realtors we talk with other builders about what's going on in the market who's doing well and who's keeping up with the um with their projects and who's who's falling through who's communicating well with your with you and those are all real important factors when you're going to choose a builder and those are some of the frustrations i had when i you know when i was trying to find out what you know who should i use for this project i have this these plans for this house and i want to figure out you know who to use so what's happening in uh palm coast 22 2022 is that uh you know people are moving here uh uh, uh two to three percent growth here, uh, which is a good thing, you know, with more people, obviously the traffic issues are, that's my, like my number one complaint on my channel is that, you know, gosh, there's people are damp, there's just too much traffic. Well, you know, that, that's going to happen. And those are things that the city I think is trying to take care of. But for the most part, you know, when you live in a, in uh, a little slice of heaven, like Palm Coast, and I love it here. Um, 19 miles of beaches and just just a great area of Florida because you're kind of up higher north and um, where you get you don't get those brutally hot winter or summers um, and we're heading a little bit of the cold season now and it gets a little chilly and that's good too so anyway I want to thank you all for uh, checking out the video today just want to kind of give you a, a overall what's happening in um, in Palm Coast. And uh, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button and comment too, because that uh, uh, lets us know about what, you know, what you're thinking. Again, I'm Bill Bishop with the Living in Palm Coast real estate team in here at Palm Coast. And, you know, send us a text, hit us up with an email and hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, bye-bye. Uh, Oh, and by the way, too, we have a couple other videos here that you might want to check out. So take care, and we'll see you next time.